So Warframe has been a game that's been out at this point for eight years. It's a game that is in a constant beta that's never really gonna get released. With that, Warframe has so many things that you can actually do in the game. You have multiple open worlds, you have regular star chart, and then you have steel path star chart. You have so many bosses, warframes, weapons, companions, companion weapons, and then you have open world auxiliary things like fishing, hunting, K-Drive. There is just such a large amount of things to do in the game. That's, you know, not even talking about Railjack and how much time you'll have to put into certain game modes, farming things, so... Warframe is a massive game at this point, and with it being such a massive game, it can seem very directionless, honestly, at any turn of the game, especially once you're done the main quests. The main quest, while be it very interesting, fun, cool, and the side quests, yeah, also pretty interesting, they aren't really a massively long experience in the game. Warframe is much more of a play, grind, farm type of video game over a story spend tens of hours completing the story mode and like non-stop 24-7 story mode grinding. It's just not really a thing. So once you're actually done beating the main story mode in Warframe, you may think, what is there to do in Warframe? And you're quite simply greeted with the idea of you can just really at this point do whatever you want, wherever you want, and take it at your own pace. Warframe has PvP that's insanely unpopular, you know, the Conclave, but if you want to play Conclave, if you want to run PvP, you can definitely do that. No one's gonna stop you. Q times even on PC are horrendously impossible, but Hey, if you want to play PvP, you can do so. You can farm up each of the open worlds. Each one is tens if not hundreds of hours of farming and random shenanigans. There's a ton of different things to farm up on each one of the open worlds at that. Like, let's look at Plains of Eidolons. You have Eidolons, you have the Tusk Thumper, you have fishing and mining, and conservation, right? All of that's pretty normal. You have bounties, you have the current event going on, Plague Star, you have a reoccurring event with the uh, Ghoul Plague event or something like that. I can't quite remember what it's called, but there is a constantly reoccurring event, Ghoul Surge maybe actually, yeah. So Plains of Eidolon, lot to do there, interesting, many caves to adventure in, many fish to find, so it's its own very large experience. Next, you have Deimos, which is the infested area. The newest addition to the game Replace the good old derelict if anyone remembers and knows what that is. That is a great tile set where you can get nightmare mods, and then when you go into the open world, you can get amazing weapons, you can get companions which are really good, you can get kit guns, you can get the necromech. Yeah, so Deimos also has many things, just oh so many things, a lot of hours you can put into it, and do all the regular open world farming stuff, run isolation vaults, the regular bounties, whatnot. And then finally, you have Fortuna, it was the second open world type area to come out, Fortuna or Valis has really many bosses in that area, so I would say it's the heaviest boss area with you got Exploiter Orb, you have Profit Taker, and you just have a bunch of strong enemies on the surface running around, so hey, fun times there. You can farm Toroids, farm certain missions, farm bosses 24-7. So, hey, fun times, without a doubt. Actually, I guess I should technically count Eidolons as a lot of bosses, so, uh, yeah, never mind on that. Deimos is one of the more chill ones, I would say, but Fortuna, as a lot of bosses, has weird reputation locks and grinding. But all in all, you'll find more of the same open world stuff. There you have MOAs, you have amps, you have kit guns, you have a whole bunch of the same type of open world stuff, more of it, you have your Railjack crew that you can hire out on Fortuna, so it's always a good thing to get done. 
Warframe is just such a massive game at this point, so it'll take you hundreds, if not thousands, multiple, possibly thousands of hours to get everything done. I think in-game, in my Warframe profile in-game, I have it clocked in at around 700-ish hours, and I still am nowhere near done Warframe. I have 700 days logged in, I'm mastery rank 29 now, yeah, fun times. So if you ever want to watch that whatnot, I stream on YouTube and Twitch, so remember to like the video and follow me on Twitch and whatnot if you ever want to watch me there. Because god, Warframe is just such an experience and such a grind. I have all the Warframes, but I have nowhere near all of the weapons and the auxiliary th items, right? So I'll have to arm that up. And when you start getting to the late game of Warframe, which really can be whatever you want it to be, lots of people consider late game in Warframe fashion frame or just messing around dojo cosmetics and making cool sculptures, because it's a massive game. You can do a lot of things. You can just be a screenshot picture taking king in Captura and just focus on fashion frame X Captura taking a bunch of pictures. You can just grind out the later, harder game modes endlessly in Steel Path. Arbitrations are a thing you can run. Railjack has a ton of things. Kuva Liches, Sisters of Parvos. There is just, yeah, there's an insanely high amount of things to do in Warframe. You can turn into a build god where all you focus on is min-maxing builds. You can become a Riven King and roll a bunch of Rivens and have really strong Rivens. You can trade everything always 24-7 if you truly want to as well, right? My point is and always will be do whatever you want in Warframe. Play however you want in Warframe. There is no winning in Warframe, okay? You just play Warframe. You just simply play the game. You can make anything your objective. You can do whatever you want. And since it's a PvE-focused game, honestly, you can take it at whatever pace you want. People always ask, how do you not get burnt out? Well, I just change up what I want to do when I want to do it, play other games, and just have fun making videos about Warframe, right? There's always something you can do in this game. Sometimes, you know, you just don't want to play it, and that's fine. Put it down, take a break, quit, do what you have to do. But just know, the game is always there if you want to come back to it and mess around at least for a little bit, because... Warframe, if anything, is a fun game to just jump into, beat enemies senseless, kill all of the enemies, collect all the loot, and have fun with really overpowered kits on your Warframe. So again, just try to have whatever fun you want to have in the game, right? Don't be, and do not listen to the people that try to dictate what you find fun in the game. Do whatever you want. It's a huge game, right? Never listen to that type of toxic mentality of players. There's not a ton of them anyway, so it's not like it hugely matters, but once in a while you will run into them in pugs and whatnot, where they think whatever they want to do, whatever they think is right, is always right. And they don't really play to have fun. They play to be a god. But it doesn't really work out like that in public. So be nice, have fun, play whatever play style you want, have fun in whatever style you want in Warframe, because at the end of the day, why else would you play Warframe if you're not trying to have fun? It is a video game, okay? Y'all need to always remember that. At the end of the day, Warframe's just a video game. We're all just here to hopefully have fun, have a good time, in whatever way and aspect of gameplay we find fun, okay? So, take it at your own pace, do what you need to do, but yeah, as always, just don't be outwardly mean to anyone, okay? Just try to have fun and enjoy your time in Warframe, because if you're not enjoying your time in Warframe, you're probably playing the game wrong, or you might just not like the game and might need to stop. So, that's the end of the video. Thank you all. I just wanted to have this little afternoon chat. Remember to follow me on my Twitch and hit the notification bell on YouTube, just so you know whenever I end up streaming on YouTube or whenever I end up streaming on Twitch. 
because I also upload, oh, just so many random Warframe videos as well. So thank you all for being here. I do appreciate it. Follow, like, check out any of my socials in the description, and I will see you later. Peace.